my dear viewers today i shall discuss about a simple overview on production of power transformer please keep patience during watching as it would take a few minutes more but a complete information in a nutshell of the subject will be available here so please don't skip production of power transformer power transformer being static totally enclosed and oil immersed develop fault only rarely but consequences of even a rare fault may be serious unless the transformer is quickly disconnected from the system by operation of protections faults of transformer can be divided into three main classes fault in the auxiliary equipment which is part of transformer fault in the transformer winding score and connections overload and external short circuits protection of transformers according to operating medium oil and gas operated protections thermal overheating protections lightning and switching over voltage protection current operated protections primary protection and backup protections voltage operated protection oil and gas operated protection bukhoj relay fault inside oil immersed transformer cause gas to be generated if the fault is severe oil with gas movement occurs the generated gas is used to operate bukhoj relay the relay is fitted in between main tank and conservator tank by suitable pipes the relay has two floats each float comprises of contacts of mercury switch or red switch the floats are held in equilibrium by the oil the rising bubble produced by slow generation of gas due to incipient fault passes upward towards conservator or trapped in the bukhoj chamber occurs a fall of oil level inside the chamber this result tilting of float first float and closing of contact of switch to initiate alarm if the generation of gas is sudden and high enough due to heavy fault the gas trapped in the chamber is high and rapid it tilts the second float to issue a trip of respective circuit breaker PRD pressure relief device or valve transformer are fitted with pressure relief device to prevent tank rupture by gas in the event of a major internal fault the pressure relief device PRD is a spring loaded self resetting diaphragm which also activate a micro switch to issue a trip of circuit breaker of the transformer OSR the oil surge relay The waves are mounted in the pipeline connecting conservator and onload tap changer well to see the oil surge relay waves are operates when sudden oil surge occurs inside the well to see on the principle of bukhoj relay and initiate a trip without any alarm MOG magnetic oil level gauge it is constructed and used to indicate continuously the oil level inside a tank on dial outside core and windings should not be exposed so oil level of tank should be maintained with a with sufficient oil a float is used as sensor of oil level inside the conservator tank swing of hinged float due to change in level oil level is utilized to indicate level on a calibrated dial and to operate a switch for an external circuit 
माइक्रो स्विच इज प्रोवाइडेड फॉर लो ऑयल लेवल अलार्म एनो स्विच क्लोजेस व्हेन ऑयल लेवल ड्रॉप्स टू 10 एमएम अब एमटी लेवल दैट इज 75 एमएम फ्रॉम बॉटम ऑफ कंजर्वेटर इंडिकेटर कैन बी माउंटेड इन टिल्टेड पोजीशन टुवर्ड ग्राउंड मैक्सिमम 30 डिग्री फॉर इजी व्यूइंग Thermal overheating protections. WTI winding temperature indicator, alarm and trip. OTI oil temperature indicator. The rating of a transformer is based on the temperature rise above an assumed maximum ambient temperature. An oil temperature of about 95 degree centigrade is considered to be maximum. working value beyond which a further rise of 8 to 10 degree centigrade will have a detrimental effect on the transformer insulation it will lower the life of a transformer if sustained large transformer have oil and winding temperature monitoring devices like oti and wti oil temperature indicator indicates and measure oil temperature winding temperature indicates and measure winding temperature a pointer is fitted with a movable plate that moves with increase or decrease of temperature in left or right hand side direction along a pointed scale mercury switches or micro switches are fitted with the plate These are adjusted to make or break contacts along the movement of the plate according to preset temperature to operate cooling apparatus installed outside and initiate alarm and trip cooling system to protect transformer from overheating when in oil natural air natural during loading losses of transformers partially converted into heat heat increases temperature of the winding and oil for maintaining suitable temperature up to certain load cooling system is on when in that is on radiator at the low load losses are small therefore natural circulation of oil with an when in is sufficient to cool the transformer ONAF oil natural air force in this method oil circulation under natural head transfers heat to the radiators radiators are made of thin corrugated metal sheet with a shape of hollow and small boxes are called fins placed separately as shown in the figure heat is brought to the fins wall by circulation of oil these are so arranged that there are hollow space outside between fins to pass air the air become heated being in contact with the hot fins walls the hot air is removed to fill fresh and cool air by using air blast produced by fans fan starts at 65 degree by auto sensing instrument wti pump af of air force oil force in this method oil is cooled in radiators using air blast produced by fans at the same time comparatively hot oil from top of the tank is drawn by pumping action and fed into the transformer from bottom to replace comparatively cool oil upwards thereby circulation of hot oil and cool oil within the transformer goes on and during the process oil losses heat to radiator walls at maximum rate water of wf oil force water force in this method the heated oil is cooled in a water heat exchanger as shown in the figure in this method pressure of oil is kept higher than that of water 
and therefore any leakage that occurs is from oil to water also there are no condensation problem at a higher load pump and water head valves may be switched on by temperature sensing element like wti oti current operated production differential production in differential relay victor difference between the currents entering the primary winding and current leaving the secondary winding of a transformer is used for sensing and relaying operation when fault occurs within protected zone the current entering the primary winding and current leaving secondary winding is no more equal because some current flows to the fault hence vector difference of i1 minus i2 is no longer zero but has some values and it flows through the operating coil of the relay and it operates to issue triggering of both side circuit breakers the relay operates at both overcurrent and earth fault within protected zone restricted earth fault protection by differential protection 100% of winding is not protected from earth fault some portion 10% to 15% winding at the neutral side of a star connected winding is left unprotected by this protection driving voltage of fault current at this portion is very small so setting up differential relay is required to set at a minimum which may cause a malfunction of differential relay to provide 100% protection of the transformer winding a separate relay is installed to provide earth fault protection of 10% to 15% of winding at neutral side of a star connected windings this is known as restricted earth fault protection over current and earth fault protection For backup protection, sub transformer, simple overcurrent, and earth fault protections are applied against external short circuit that is through fault and excessive overloads of the transformer. Overcurrent and earth fault relays may be of inverse definite minimum time (IDMT) or definite time relay (DMT). Generally, IDMT relay are connected to the primary side of the transformer for overload protection. The overcurrent relays cannot distinguish among external short circuit through faults, overload, and internal fault of the transformer. For any of the above fault, backup protection, that is overcurrent and earth fault protection, connected to the input side of the transformer will operate, and it should trip both the primary and secondary circuit breakers of the transformer. protection from lighting over voltage lightning arrester or surge arrester a lighting arrester or surge arrester is the equipment which discharge current impulse surge occurs due to lightning and switching operation to earth and dissipates energy in the form of heat and thus protects the insulation of the transformer substation connected to overhead transmission lines are exposed to over voltage generated during thunderstorm these voltages may cause damages to transformer at the substation to protect the valuable equipment like transformer relays are installed at both side near the transformer to discharge the over voltage to earth 
shielding screen, lighting mast, ground wires. Station equipment like transformers are protected from direct lightning stroke by using overhead shielding screen art covering the outdoor substation and the overhead lines approaching the substation. Lightning mast with rod art are used at the strategic locations of the substation to art the direct source. Voltage operated protections In high capacity power transformer overfluxing creates problem to its core winding and insulation. The high flux density increases core losses which may lead to overheating which in turn may result into internal fault due to insulation failure. So overfluxing protection to transformer provided in order to avoid such problems. The magnetic flux density in winding is directly proportional to the induced voltage V and inversely proportional to the frequency F. Protection system operates when the ratio V by F increases above normal level and quickly isolate the transformer by using trip signal to circuit breaker. Thank you for watching this video.